Guys, I want to talk Broner. I want to talk whether he's he's overhyped or he was overhyped. I think people understand that he, you know, he he's not as good as what he is. Or is he just not that good? And when I mean what I mean by that is that a lot of people keep saying that, oh, you know, Adrian Broner, he's just not disciplined enough. He just doesn't try hard enough. Could it just be, and I've been saying this for a while, he's just not that good. He's just not that good and he's being made out. I remember Teddy Atlas giving a, an interview, right, a, a couple years ago. And I think he noticed it quite a bit before a lot of people. And uh, Teddy Atlas is somebody that's very knowledgeable. He, he talks sense. You know, sometimes he can, you know, he can get very emotional, but he talks sense. Um, he said, I think Broner looks for an excuse. He looks for a get out clause. He's got a psychological problem, right? He's, there's something missing in him. And what he does is he tries to make us believe that, you know what, he leaves a back door open. He tries to make us believe that, you know what, he the reason why he's losing because he's not disciplined, he's not trying hard. But that that's what he's trying to make us believe when really he's got something missing. I, I don't think, I think, yeah, there could be some kind of mental issue with him not throwing punches because he's afraid that he might get hit. And there might be some kind of wariness there. He's not, he's not, he's a bit afraid, you know. To, I don't know whether it's to take shots or whether he's just afraid to get put down or hurt. I don't know what it is, but there's some definitely some kind of problem there. But I just don't think Adrian Broner is that good. I just think he's overrated. And I think he always has been overrated. I first saw Adrian Broner when he was at the top. The first time I saw him was against Gavin Rees. And... If I'm totally honest with you, there was a lot being said about Broner and I thought, whoa, this guy's mustard, he's winning all these titles and he's the next Floyd Mayweather. I thought, here we go, he's a, he's going to be a superstar, right? And I didn't I hadn't seen him fight, but I'd heard so much about him. I sat down to watch his fight against Gavin Reese. I thought, let's watch him, let's see how good he is. And after the fight, right, he was fighting a, a an average to decent level guy in Gavin Reese. you know, a guy that if you're Floyd Mayweather... Or you're being called the second coming of Floyd Mayweather, you should deal with him emphatically, right? And I wasn't impressed. Straight away I said, This guy's not that good. And I that's the first thing I said after the fight. This guy's not that good. He's just not that good. And then I saw him again. Um I don't know if I saw him before Paulie Malanagi. And whenever I've seen Adrian Brona, I've never really been that impressed, if I'm totally honest with you. Then I saw him against Paulie Malanagi and I saw the fight. And Paulie Malanagi was his first step up fight where he actually fought somebody with a name. And a lot of people thought he lost. A lot of people thought the fight was controversial. And Paulie said at the end of the fight that I outworked him. I hit him with more shots. And it was a very controversial fight. And no disrespect to Paulie, but every time Paulie stepped up at the top, top level as well, he used to get beat well as well. You know, he had a few good wins against Juan Diaz. Um, but every time Paulie really stepped up against Khan or Hatton or those guys, or Cotto, those guys were beating well. Now... Adrian Broner had a close fight with Paulie Malanagi and a lot of people think Paulie won. I noticed from there that this guy's not that good. I realized from that fight that this guy's gonna this guy's gonna get exposed. Like he's not that good, and he and he started acting all arrogant. I beat and even his interview after the Paulie fight was disgraceful. I realized that this guy's gonna get exposed very badly as time goes on, and that's what happened. The next fight he had against Marcus Madonna, and Marcus Madonna wiped the floor with him. Marcus Madonna was a better fighter than Paulie Malinaji. Uh, he, you know, you could say he was a, a bit more up there and he got absolutely wiped. He got wiped out. He got completely wiped out in that fight. You know, it was a, a whooping in, in Madonna's favour. Um, and that, and to me, after the Paulie Malinaji fight, I, I saw that the writing was on the wall. I saw it, you know. Against any top fighter, Broner's not going to be able to uh, win. He's always going to come out second best. And I, I, from the Gavin Reese fight, thought that Adrian Broner was overrated and he's not going to be as good as what people are making him out to be. I knew then. So, for me, he's just not that good. Um, I, I, wouldn't, I, I, just, I don't think anything to do with overrated. I just don't think he's that good. I think he's been gifted a lot. And people say, oh, people, people you know, you have to work for it. Adrian Broner's been gifted quite a bit, trust me. He's fought nobody for it. Like, if you look at it, every time he stepped up, the four guys that we know about, right, he lost to. 
The only one decent fighter he's beaten is Paulie, you can say, that's got a bit of a name, right? That's the only name. The rest he's lost to. So I don't really rate Brown. I think he's overrated, uh, if I'm totally honest with you. Um, he is what it is. I broke down his style many times. I just, like I said, I just think he gets beat to any top-level fighter he fights well as well. He'll get beat well. But leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.